So unless you follow my Instagram account, this is probably something you never knew about me. And that is, I'm a photographer. So photography is a hobby for me. I really like photography. I use it to practice my cinematography techniques. I mainly take photos of nature, but I've been but I also take photos of sceneries and sunlight, photos in the sunlight. And here's what I really like about photography. It opens up my eyes. Really. I don't mean it in a very metaphorical way. I literally mean it. It opens up my eyes to newer places, to new things that I've never noticed. I mean, photos, whenever you take photos, in reality they can be small. But when you go close to them, you look at them bigger. You get to see the details on the plant that you're taking the photo and look at it more and it looks more beautiful with the details the details that you can see through photos and it also trains your eyes yes your eyes do you have the eye for the photography that's one very crucial thing a novice will take a photo of some of something straight ahead in a very direct way what i mean is you just go up to the subject and then just take a photo click that's it but a more experienced photographer someone with more experience like i'm not saying i'm experienced but i do have a bit more experience if you've seen my instagram you know i've been doing it for a very long time but so i do have a bit more experience you would take it from different angles and see which angle suits the picture better which angle will give the bigger effect for the specific picture you're taking of the subject you're taking and that's what it trains your eyes for you see things differently compared to a normal person who doesn't have who doesn't have photography as his hobby who doesn't take photos regularly you see the world differently and that's what i'm referring to and photography like i've said it has opened my eyes it has made me view certain things differently and now usually whenever i'm walking around i see things normally but whenever i'm walking around now after taking so many photos throughout quite a long time I'm seeing everything in a very beautiful way. I'm seeing everything beautifully. Even a can on the grass. It's litter, but when I go closer to it, I cook a photo of it. Because even though they are so normal of things, you see them in a way that they are like art. You see them in a very beautiful way. You see them differently compared to how normal people look at it. And that's what I think photography does for you as well. You look at things differently as well. You look at everyday normal things differently. And that's what photography does very well for you. It trains your eyes and it makes you look things look at things differently. A normal object can become a very artistic thing. And photos have the power to make you feel in such a way, right? And that's what I have been trying to aim for throughout my photography life is to make things have a effect on people. Like when I'm in the dark, I usually take photos of dark areas but with spots of light from here in, in certain areas like this image for example. I took this image because there's something eerie about it. There's something scary about it and that's what i'm really going for an effect on people and even normal everyday things like maybe a knot on a tree can look special like when you're just walking across and you have no experience in photography you don't you, are, you have no interest in photography you're not a photographer you take you look at it and it's, a, it's just a knot on a tree that's all you look at it but when you take the photo you look at it then and it feels something special it feels something more than that. It feels something more artistic. And that's what photography does really well. And that's why I think you should take photos as well. Join me and let us take photos together. I personally use the Sony A6000 camera. This is the camera I've been using for a very long time actually. My father actually uh, bought it from his friend. Who is a great who is another fantastic photographer. And I've been using it since. And it's a very useful camera for beginners. And I'll recommend you to join me and take photos. You don't have to be a nature photographer or a photographer of landscapes like how I am. But you can be your own photographer. Take photos of subjects. Maybe like 
of pets, of animals, or of buses. I have a friend on Instagram who takes photos of buses. That's his hobby. And that's an incredible hobby, by the way. I even collaborated with him once on Instagram. So I would highly recommend you to take photos as well. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like button. If you see more, subscribe to my channel. And see you guys next time. You guys are always the best. Thank you.